Hey all you hockey players out there, Adrian from DollarTapeClub.com. Today, I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to wear and tape your hockey socks. Now there's a whole bunch of ways of doing this, but I'm just going to go over some of the most popular and the ways I like to do it. Now before we get started, you might notice I'm not in the locker room. We tried filming in one, but you know how hockey players can be, trying to jump in front of the camera naked all the time, trying to be funny. So we have to uh, settle for my living room. So here we are now, let's get started. First, why do we even tape our socks? Well, some people like me don't even have a choice. I don't have straps on my shin guards. But even if you do, it can be, they might not be enough. You find your shin guards start to wobble during the game. They can go sideways when you're trying to skate, making it very uncomfortable and even dangerous. And your gear should not feel like dangling pieces of plastic from your body. It should feel like part of you. So you can move quick and agile out there. And a good tape job combined with good sock support can help you feel the best and look the best on the ice. So before we even get to the tape, let's talk about the jock support. It's very important to have good jock support because it will keep your socks up on your thighs. Some players like to tape their thighs, but that doesn't work. You'll find halfway through the first period, even if you get there, your sock starts rolling down and sagging down to your knee. Let me show you an example. You'll find that when you try tape up here, after taking 10, 20, 30 strides, your, your socks will be hanging like that below your pants. Not only does that look terrible, but it's also dangerous and uncomfortable. All right, here we have a common sock support system. It's Velcro and it's combined with a jock to have all your things you need in one. Some guys like to use the suspenders that hold the socks up. Those work too, but then you're combining, you have to combine that with a jock and it's extra work, it's extra equipment, and it's just not as comfortable, but whatever works for you. Now that we have that in place, the shin on and we are ready to pull the sock up over the shin. I like to pull it up nice and tight making sure there's not going to be any wobble room there. We pull the sock up over the velcro and velcro into it. As you can see before I have even put the tape on this is already starting to be pretty secure but it's still wobbly and it's still not ready. All right, after I have pulled up my socks over my shin guards, attached them to my garter belt and or jog strap, we, I put on my pants and I got my skates up. The skates are nice and tight already, ready to go. I like to tie my skates on before I put my sock tape on because I like to pull my shin guards up and over the tongue. Now this is a per personal preference. Some guys go tongues out, some guys go tendon guard in, the full tuck, or any other variation. That's completely up to you and whatever feels best for you. I like to go tongue in, tendon guard out. Now before we even get, we take the socks, one quick tip. I like to tape my laces up up on my leg, such as that. This way, when I pull my shin guards down, and first of all, it looks cleaner. I don't have my laces dangling down, and it just feels overall better. It's also better to have high socks, so you don't have to tape pinching your leg hairs, but for this demonstration that'll have to do. And now we're at the very last step. We're ready just to tape the socks. The final step to make sure your shins stay on tight on your knees. The way I like to do it is two times around just under the knee, tight. But not so tight that it's cutting circulation or causing any pain, but tight enough that it keeps your shin tight on your leg. And this works for a lot of people. 
this is enough. I like to go with an extra measure of going down. The bottom of the shin guard, under the, the tendon guard, not over, but just to keep the shin guard sturdy on my leg. And there we go, that's it. You see this is not gonna move. I have good movement all game, no problems. And it looks apart. So, that's it guys. Okay, there you have it. This might seem like a little bit of a complicated process to somebody who hasn't done it a couple times. But you'll see that once you start playing hockey, once you start doing this a couple times a week, it becomes second nature. It just becomes part of the process. And don't be afraid to experiment, to try taping maybe just up here, or try different tape jobs, try to go out with tongues out, whatever. Try different things to find whatever works best for you. I made your sources from Dollar Tape Club, the place where you can find high quality tape for the best price delivered right to your door. Remember, stop paying that pro shop tape tax. And as always, stay taped. Thanks a lot, guys. Have fun out there.